You want to live somewhere that has a great airport. I know that as you're determining where you want to live, having a good airport could be really high on your list. So today we're going to check out the Boise airport and you can decide if it's going to be the right fit for you. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Craig Flood. I am a real estate agent here in Boise, Idaho, and me and my team love helping people like you make the transition to Idaho. So if you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Idaho, eating, working, sleeping, playing, then be sure to subscribe so that you can be the first to know about everything that's happening with the Boise real estate market. So this video is gonna be your go-to guide for understanding and navigating the Boise airport. I know when you're considering a new place to relocate to, having a good airport close by could be really high on your priority list, so I wanna give you guys a really good understanding of this airport so that you know what it's capable of and if it's gonna be a great airport for you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the airport as a whole, drive times to and from the airport to the major cities within the Treasure Valley, what airlines fly out of the airport, what direct flights you can get out of the airport, what parking is like, how to use Uber and Lyft. We'll also talk about dining, accessibility, and amenities. And then at the end, I'll touch on what the future plans are for the airport, just in case you're wondering, hey, how is all this growth in Boise and the Treasure Valley impacted the Boise airport? And and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Boise Airport, in my opinion, is a great airport. My current record for getting out of bed and sitting on my airplane seat is 20 minutes, which is pretty crazy compared to some of the airports that I have flown out of. Of all the airports that I don't like flying out of, Boise is definitely not on that list. First, let's talk about getting to the airport. The airport is really simple and it's just a few miles outside of Boise, directly south of the city. Here on the map, I'm gonna show you, here's downtown Boise. And then if you draw a straight line south on Vista, you run right into the airport. In terms of drive times from the cities and the Treasure Valley, here they are. From Boise, it's 10 to 15 minutes. From Nampa, it's 25 to 35 minutes. From Meridian, it's 15 to 25 minutes. From Caldwell, it's 30 to 40 minutes. From Eagle, it's 20 to 30 minutes. CUNA, 25 to 35 minutes. Star, 30 to 40 minutes. And Middleton, 35 to 45 minutes. And finally, Garden City, which is about 10 to 15 minutes. In terms of airlines that you have flying out of Boise, you have Alaska Air, Allegiant Air, American Airlines, Avello Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Spirit Airlines, and United Airlines. In terms of direct flights, I'm gonna list off all the direct flights really quick, and hopefully you see one that piques your interest so that then you know, hey, if I do live in Boise, I can easily get a direct flight to where I wanna go. Atlanta, Georgia, Austin, Texas, Burbank, California, Chicago, Midway, Illinois, Chicago O'Hare, Illinois, Dallas slash Fort Worth, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Las Vegas, Nevada, Long Beach, California, Los Angeles, California, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Oakland, California, Palm Springs, California, Orange County, California, Phoenix, Mesa Gateway, Arizona, Phoenix, Sky Harbor, Arizona, Portland, Oregon, Pullman, Moscow, Washington, Idaho, Sacramento, California, Salt Lake City, Utah, San Diego, California, San Francisco, California, San Jose, California, Seattle, Washington, and Spokane, Washington. And just a little note, Boise is right over the time zone. So if you're flying somewhere like Portland or Seattle, you'll leave here roughly at 8 a.m. and you'll arrive there roughly at 8 a.m. because you're jumping back in time. So that's kind of a nice thing. But of course, when you fly home, then you're losing that hour. So if you leave there at 7 and it's a two hour flight, you're really getting here at 8, 9, 10. When you're coming to the airport, you have the upper level, which is going to be departures. And then you have the lower level, which is going to be arrivals. On the lower level, that's where you're going to have your baggage claim. You're also going to have the car rental kiosk. On the upper level, that's where you're going to be able to check everything in, get your tickets if you need to get those printed, and check any baggage that you have. Just to the left of that, you'll make a walkover and you'll hit the security. At the security, you have just general security. You also have TSA pre-check, which I personally have. I would encourage anybody to get. And then you also have clear. When getting off the airport, say you're coming into town to check out the city and you need to get your luggage and get a car rental, you're going to leave the security gates that you're seeing right there. You're going to turn around, go down the escalators. And then when you get to the bottom of the escalators, you're going to turn left and that's going to be the kiosk area right there. Once you've gone through that whole process to get your car rental, you can continue on. If you haven't already, you can get your checked bag if you did check something just here on your left. But then from here, you'll continue on past this go through these double doors at the end, and now you'll be into the car rental area. If you get off the plane and you check the bag, don't forget to go downstairs, get your check bag, and then come back upstairs because if you're getting something like a Lyft or an Uber, say to an Airbnb or maybe a downtown hotel, then you'll want to do that on the upper level. You're going to walk straight out these doors right here. You're going to turn right, and that's where you're going to hang out and wait. If for some reason the weather's not good, feel free just to wait inside those doors, and when you've seen that your Uber driver if your Uber driver or your Lyft driver has arrived, then just walk outside when you're ready. In terms of other transportation above and beyond, say a rental car or doing Uber and Lyft on the upper level, if you go downstairs on level one, you're going to find some other options. Down there, you're going to find taxis, courtesy shuttles, 
paid shuttles and buses. In terms of parking at the Boise Airport, they have a lot of great options. They have uncovered, they have covered, in addition to all that too, they're building a lot at the moment to help expand for the demand that's happening right now. Also, just a little note, this would be more for the locals, but if you're traveling to the airport and you decide you wanna live here and it's winter time, I would encourage you to consider trying to get there early enough to make sure that you get some undercover parking so that when you get back from your long trip, your car isn't covered in snow. Additionally, let's talk about curbside valet parking. So say you end up living here and you just really want some exceptional service. And when you go to the airport, you can pull up, have valet park your car. And at that point, you're right at the main entrance and you can walk straight through to security. And if you don't have to check a bag, that is a very seamless and quick option. In terms of the layout of the airport, once you get your ticket and you pass through security, you're going to essentially go straight forward. So across from us there, that is security, which you'd be passing through. If we look to the right, that's going to be the concourse on the second level, which is what we're technically on at the moment. And then if we look down, that's going to be the concourse on the first level. And then obviously to get down there, you would just take the escalators that you see right there. In terms of food, they do have some options, you know, one or two options pre-security, a couple options post-security. One little note on that, I have found that the food is not exceptionally good in my opinion. So if there's something that you're really wanting to get, you might consider getting that before you get to the airport. In addition to that, depending on when you arrive, there could be some really long lines. So if you're catching an early morning flight back to your state after you've made your visit here, you might be waiting a little bit longer. So be sure to give yourself that wiggle room that you need to give yourself time to get something to eat if that's something you need to do in the morning. But just to name off a few, here are some of the dining options that you do have in the Boise Airport. Pre-security, you have Perilla Grill. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. In addition to that, you have 13th Street Pub and Grill. Inside, past security, you're going to get Bardenay's, Einstein Brothers Bagels, and you also have Smash Burger. So if you want to get a burger, say it's midday or the afternoon, you have that option in the airport. There's also Cross Grain Brew House. And then for all you coffee lovers on the second floor, which is a floor that you walk through security on, you're going to have River City Coffee and Cafe. And in addition to that, you're going to have Harvest and Grounds, which is going to be down the escalators on that first level. Here's some amenities that the Boise Airport has to offer you while you travel. You're going to have Wi-Fi. You'll have charging stations. You'll also have pet relief areas for your four-legged friends. Let's talk about accessibility. At the Boise Airport, you're going to find wheelchairs, wheelchair accessible bathrooms, and designated parking spots to ensure you have a hassle-free journey to and from the airport. Now, real quick, I just want to touch on some expansion plans that Boise has come up with to deal with the growth that we've seen here in the Treasure Valley. One of them is additional parking. So they are building a huge parking lot just east of the current parking situation. In addition to that, they're gonna be moving where the rental cars are and they're gonna back that up a little bit, which will make room for a brand new concourse on that west side of the airport. All right, and to end this video, I'm gonna show you guys some lightning strikes that are happening. Uh, the great thing about Boise is that- Oh my God. The great thing about Boise is some amazing thunderstorms roll through. So me and my wife just put the kids to bed. We're in our Tommy Bahama chairs and we're just watching the storm roll over. If you're thinking about moving to Boise, reach out. I'd love to be your guide. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.